All right, folks, a little Dunkin' Donut and K-Cup coffee to start the day from Coons Market. It's Joe Dentice, and I always tell you, how do you find the one nearest you? You click on CoonsMarket.com. July 12th, Thursday, 2018, and here are your headlines. President Trump has shrugged off protest plans across the U.K. ahead of his arrival later there. He is very popular, he believes, in Britain because of his hardline stance on immigration. Tonight, he and First Lady Melania will attend a black tie dinner with Prime Minister Theresa May at the birthplace of Winston Churchill. They will spend the night at the U.S. Ambassador's residence near Regent Park. Later that evening, the Trumps will travel to Scotland, where the President owns two golf properties, but it's not known whether or not he will get in a round or two. Today in Brussels, the President appeared to declare victory in his battle with America's closest allies to get them to contribute more money to the NATO alliance. The President acknowledged that he had taken a tough stance with his European counterparts demanding they contribute more of their national budget to defense, saying after his meeting today they have left their commitments and I'm very happy. Meanwhile, the Trump administration claims it completed the first round of reunifications today. A family is separated at the border, but it will be up to a federal judge to decide whether government officials move fast enough to comply with his orders. Sports, Johnny Marte drove in two. The Bucks over Washington yesterday, 2-0. Tonight they host Milwaukee, 705. You can hear it at 93.7 The Fan. World Cup is set for Sunday. France will take on Croatia. Tennis, Wimbledon semifinal. Angeli Gerber has won her semifinal match. And right now, Serena Williams currently on the court, up one game to none in the first set against Julia Gerges. And it's round one of the John Deere Classic in Illinois. Rob Pratt saying thank you. Have a great day, everybody, from your Pratt Pack. Good morning.